If you're looking for some fun and exciting things to do in Memphis, you've come to the right place. Whether you're a tourist or a long-term resident looking for some place to have fun, we've got you covered. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the best attractions Memphis, Tennessee has to offer. 10. Memphis Botanic Gardens Starting off the list, we have the Memphis Botanic Gardens located east of downtown. The garden is home to 30 specialty garden areas spread over 96 acres of some of the most beautiful land you'll ever visit. If you're a fan of plants, you're in for a treat, as the Memphis Botanic Garden showcases Daffodil Hill, a hilltop straight out of heaven with over 300,000 daffodils located on it. There's also the Asian Garden, featuring native Asian plants from countries including China, Japan, and Taiwan. It's a breathtaking sight with all the different flowers and their contrasting colors all around you. If you're looking for a lovely, quiet morning, this place is a great option. The Memphis Botanic Garden is open from 9 to 4.30 p.m. Tickets cost $10 for adults, $8 for students and seniors, and $5 for children ages 2 to 12. 9. Slave Haven Underground Railroad Museum if you're into history, Memphis has a surprise for you. The Slave Haven Underground Railroad Museum is part of an unforgettable slice of American history. The museum, also called the Burkle Estate because of its original owner Jacob Burkle, was an integral part of the anti-slavery movement during the pre-Civil War era and offered a haven to slaves trying to escape their abusive masters. If you're looking to learn more and get a hands-on experience, we'd recommend you book a tour. The museum is full of artifacts, and you can even check out the trapdoors and secret passageways used during the time. The Burkle Estate is open from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. from September to May, and 10 to 5 p.m. from June to August. Tickets are $12 for adults and $11 for kids ages 4 to 17. And there's plenty of parking. 8. Memphis Zoo Who doesn't love the zoo? Exotic animals, nostalgic childhood memories, and a classic day out. The Memphis Zoo is one of the best zoos in the country and houses over 4,500 animals, including giant pandas. It's one of only four zoos in the U.S. who holds these endangered species. The two giant pandas, Yaya and Lele, are sort of celebrities in the zoologist world, and seeing that your chances of ever seeing another giant panda are slim to none, we highly recommend you visit the exhibit. Located at 2000 Prentice Place, the Memphis Zoo offers free admission to Tennessee residents, while non-resident adults need to pay $21 for a ticket, with children's tickets costing $16. Parking is an additional $5, so keep that in mind. 7. Mighty Lights Looking for the best views of the Mississippi in town? Well, head on over to Tom Lee Park, downtown Memphis. It gets even better if you go at night, since you'll be able to see the Hernando de Soda Bridge light up too. Both the Hernando de Soda and the Harahan Bridge have state-of-the-art LED lighting systems installed and light up daily starting from sundown until 10 p.m., every hour at the top of the hour. The top of the Memphis Pyramid is also a great place to catch the light show. There's a glass elevator there that takes you up for $10, and for the experience you get, those $10 are worth it. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Vucation for more and stick around for more of the best of Memphis. 6. Beale Street The heart of Memphis is Beale Street, and if you're looking to dive into Memphis culture and its people, taking a walk on Beale Street is the best way to do that. During the day, you can visit music stores and restaurants, both equally filled with musical memorabilia, although the latter does offer better barbecue. Beale Street is where the music of Memphis was born, and everything here is a tribute to that sacred art. Musicians like Isaac Hayes, B.B. King, and Alberta Hunter got their start on Beale Street, and Memphis will do its best to make sure you don't forget it. Don't worry though, old souvenirs and long stories aren't the only things Beale Street offers to music fans. During the night, the streets light up, and the doors of various music clubs open up, welcoming music fans inside. Beale Street is full of life, and you'd be hard-pressed to find a livelier crowd in all of Memphis. Fair warning if you're not into crowds, Beale Street can get a bit overwhelming at times. If crowds are an issue, visit during the day. 5. Memphis Rock and Soul Museum It should come as no surprise that one of the birthplaces of modern rock and roll, Memphis, has a museum dedicated to how it helped music progress and get to where it is today. The Memphis Rock and Soul Museum is a Smithsonian affiliate and offers visitors a chance to see how it all happened. 
Everything is covered, from the rural fields of the 1930s to the emergence of big-name studios like Stax, Sun, and High Records. Travelers are also provided with an audio guide they can use to explore seven galleries featuring more than 30 instruments, 40 costumes, and 100 songs. The museum is open Wednesday through Sunday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. As a bonus, the museum is located on Beale Street, so you might be able to knock out two destinations in one go from your Memphis travel list. 4. Shelby Farms Park If you've never seen one of those super surreal out of a fairy tale sunsets, Shelby Farms Park is the perfect place to do so. The park features over 4,500 acres of green space and more than 20 water bodies. You don't have to worry about getting bored at this park. The Shelby Family Park offers more activities you can ever get tired of. From a 4,000 square foot water play spray ground filled with water pumps, spray jets, and geysers, to over 40 miles of trails built for hiking and biking. If you're coming with kids, you'll be happy to know there's a woodland discovery playground designed especially for kids by kids. The park is free to enter, although you'll have to pay for extras like zip lining and horseback riding. If you're looking for an affordable option to spend some family time with the kids or explore nature yourself, this is your best option. 3. Graceland Visit the house of the king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley. Graceland is one of Memphis's main attractions. It's a bit more pricey than the other places on this list, but those places weren't where a music legend used to live. The tour costs a minimum of $47, with prices going up as you get fancier. Graceland is open every day except the holidays, but that doesn't mean you can visit it all year round. August especially is overcrowded due to the annual Elvis Festival. To get the most out of your trip, try getting there early. You'll be given an iPad and a pair of headphones to guide you from room to room while filling you in about the historical significance of the place. The Graceland grounds also include Elvis and his family's graves, so don't miss those. 2. Sun Studio As music lovers like to call Sun Studio the birthplace of rock and roll, it's located in downtown Memphis. It's the studio from where names like Johnny Cash, Elvis Presley, and B.B. King launched themselves into the music industry. The experience at Sun Studio is said to be better than what you get at Graceland. However, you will have to book a spot in advance unless you want to wait for hours for your turn. The tour includes goodies like exclusive stories about the legends that recorded there, getting a chance to listen to unreleased music, and there are even souvenirs at the end of the trip. Tickets are $15 for adults and $11 for children above 5. Children below 5 aren't allowed. 1. National Civil Rights Museum The National Civil Rights Museum is a place where history was made. Civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr. spent his final hours here before his assassination. The museum offers a guided tour that includes 260 artifacts, more than 40 films, oral histories, interactive media, and external listening posts. With the help of all this and more, visitors are taken through five centuries of American history in a matter of hours. If you decide to visit one place when you're in Memphis, let this be the one. Tickets cost $17 for adults, $15 for senior citizens and students, $14 for kids between 5 and 17, and free for children 4 and younger. So, what do you plan on visiting first, the museum or Graceland? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to Viewcation for more. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.